This is series two. Second attempt at getting what I want out of bodybuilding. So 2018, the process begins now. It's been about two years since, no, one year even, I'm talking rubbish, it's been one year since the last Iron Rebel video series, which I did for the Arnold Classic in 2016, 2017, I don't even know what year it is, so much has happened. So yeah, 2017, the pro debut, the Arnold Classic, and right now, I am four, just, just over four weeks out from the Arnold Classic in Australia. So I just want to recap what I've done <clears throat> over the last year. So, the Arnold Classic wasn't a great showing for me. The, the, whole, the whole prep was extremely difficult, um, mentally, physically, emotionally. It was, uh, you know, I'd just come off the back of winning my pro card. I went away on, on a holiday. I, I came back with no intentions of competing. So I was gonna have a nice long break, and then you get the Arnold Classic, but you have to take it. There's no way you shouldn't. So I took it. <clears throat> um, I came eighth, which is pretty good. Um, wasn't happy with how I looked. Um, and after that I thought I still got a lot to prove so I went on and did the Vancouver show in <clears throat> I think July I think it was and again stupid mistake my body was just not in a good place it wasn't fresh my mentally I wasn't quite there so it didn't do particularly well there and then since then I've had a nice long break I've had an off season um, I let my body rest and as of November last year so we're sitting in March nearly March now so in the middle of February so at the end of so November last year, I, I um, started working with Chris Aceto, the technician, Chris Aceto. And all honesty, that man is an absolute master. I mean, my, <clears throat> my body feels fresh. I feel mentally brilliant. This whole prep's been so easy because he hasn't forced my body to do things it doesn't want to do. So I'm able to train hard, I'm able to eat my food, I'm able to do any cardio it has me doing, I can do it because I'm not dying. Um, yeah, I'm suffering a little bit, but I'm not forcing my body, it's not, it's not fighting back. So being four weeks out now, I probably look now how I would normally look, say, 10 days out from a show. And it's been so far the easiest prep I've ever had, mentally um, and physically. And I feel extremely positive. So going over what I want to achieve this year, the Arnold Classic Australia, again, is just more of an experience thing. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I'm going to win, because that's bullshit, we all know that. Even top six is likely out of the question. And that's just me being realistic. I'm, getting, I'm going against some of the best on the planet. Um, but just to get the invite alone was, is, is amazing for me. And I've also, I, you know, I'm getting to travel to Australia, doing what I love doing, which is a privilege. So two weeks after that, we have the Indiana Pro in Indianapolis in the, in the US. And that show is six weeks. And that is something that I am fully training to win. You know, some of you guys might think I'm being ridiculous, um, but the way I'm feeling, the way I'm looking, how Chris is handling the situation, and knowing what I think my physique can achieve, I think, I, I can't control who's gonna turn up, but I feel like if I nail it, me and Chris nail it, and we get, we bring to the stage what I know I can, I, I think I could win a show. And hopefully it would be that show. And um, you know, every bodybuilder's dream is to make it to the Olympia stage. Um, and that's absolutely my, my ambition this year is to make it to the Olympia. There's, min there's not that many shows this year. You know, I have to pick and choose my battles pretty like methodically. So Indiana Pro, you know, if it doesn't go to plan, not a problem. There's still um, Toronto, there's still New York Pro, there is still California Pro, you know, and being that these, this whole video series is uh, is for Iron Rebel, but, you know, the California Pro is certainly an option because that's where Iron Rebel is based, you know, that's where the owners are, that's where everything is. So I can spend a week out there filming a load more footage. So the plan now is to keep getting these videos out, you know, get into my mindset of how I'm going forward. You know, hopefully you guys can learn something along the way and hopefully I can learn something along the way, you know, so I'm not going to use the word journey because I'm not a dick, but essentially this is a 
a chance for me to document how I, how my mind's going to be working and how physically draining or not draining it, this whole process is. You know, this whole thing is a process, and this is a, this is our way. Mine and I am Rebel. This is our way of showing, you know, bodybuilding fans, I am Rebel fans, you know, just general people who enjoy the sport. This is a way for us to show what really goes on, you know, the way we think and the way we have to do things, and it's it's not easy. And at the very least, we hope it's entertaining, and we just love doing it. So, thanks for watching. And this will be the first of many. So, this is the beginning of the year for me, and I really want to make it the best year that I possibly can.